Hello, and thanks for joining us for this brief video on cash reserves, cash reserve policies and procedures, how and why. Let's look at a few questions that pertain to cash reserve policies. First of all, why do we keep cash reserves? In a business environment, especially the current one, we should be concerned about stability or even continuity of our business and not just our business, but also our employees who could be very much affected. So the next question is, how much should we hold in reserve? And the answer is, it depends. It depends on the size of your business and it depends on the risk appetite of your leadership team and shareholders. Often we look at our average operating costs and we will try to keep perhaps three months at a minimum of average operating costs in reserve. You might wanna be more aggressive and keep a large number, maybe six months in times like these. You may be asking what comprises average operating costs. Again, this will depend to some degree on what business or industry you're in. Certainly the recurring predictable expenses should be incorporated into average operating costs, but if you're in a high growth phase or a challenging business environment, you may make some additional provision for regular expense that you might incur and hold those in reserve as well. Another question is, what are the triggers that enable you to access these cash reserves? These arise from unanticipated loss of funding. Let's say you have a lender who's no longer able to lend you cash or an investor who can no longer provide funding to your business. Perhaps it's from your customers who are no longer able to buy your goods and services. One big customer or many of your customers may suffer and you will have a loss of revenue causing you to dip into your cash reserves. The other thing that may occur is a sudden increase in expenses, especially in unanticipated expense. You might have thought you needed only 10 people for a particular project, but it turns out you need 15 or 17 or 20 people. And of course, there are times when we suffer unbudgeted expenses. Perhaps you lose a lawsuit or some other extraordinary event in the business which was not foreseen might tap into the cash reserves at this point. Keep in mind, cash reserves are not there simply because the business isn't going very well to eliminate an ongoing budget gap. We use reserves only for extraordinary situations and that's what your cash reserve policy should reflect. Where do you keep the cash reserves? It's important to get really disciplined about this and keep them in a segregated account. Don't mingle the funds with your other cash resources. And if you're going to the trouble of creating cash reserves and cash policies, then you should also delegate authority to a particular individual who should apply access to the cash reserves and obtain approval from somebody. A finance committee, the board, the CEO, the management team, and then report on how those cash reserves are used and most importantly, how they'll be replenished back into the business. These are some of the cash policies that have benefited us and that we hope you benefit from. And we look forward to having you in our future videos. Thank you for watching.